it's important to, to give full consideration to any design but particularly in our rural environments because they are so susceptible to change. Uh, they've got their own unique character and their own unique forms. The Rural Housing Design Guide is a document which was produced by uh, the association back in 2013-2014. It contains uh, site identification, planning, design and construction advice to aid the association with the uh, development and production of high quality social houses. We would firstly visit the place, we uh, try to take in what makes that place special and why it is unique in its own right. Often we have quite a few chats with locals and try and find out the history and the, just the general context of the place. The demographics, we look at the kind of policy restrictions as well. From that we'll go away and we'll develop um, some concept designs. We'll always go back to the community again with our concepts for consultation and I think ultimately we always try to imagine ourselves living in, the, in each of the dwellings and to do so we produce all our designs in 3D which also helps uh, discussions with the client and statutory authorities and uh, later on down the line the contractors as well. Well I think the easiest thing you could ask me is what I don't love about it because this new home is absolutely fantastic, I love everything about it. I moved here in November of last year, brand new build, there was a lot of work went into the architecture of this uh, site. Larry's, the builders, were absolutely amazing. They certainly delivered to the specification. I love the area. It's peaceful, it's quiet, it's what you call rural. <laughs> I mean, it's just got easy access for me here. I drive in here, you can see my window behind. Ground floor, easy access, no steps as I had in the last place. It's made life much more easier for me. Just love the place.